Hello everyone, welcome to my bathroom. Um, I just kind of wanted to come on camera, uh, take off my makeup, uh, wash my face and do everything else that I need to do in terms of skincare. Uh, and also just kind of randomly chat with you. I don't have anything in particular that I want to talk about, um, but I just thought that this was a sort of a video that I don't, I don't normally do. So with that being said, I suppose let's get straight into it really. Uh, first off, I suppose I just want to say to everybody, happy Halloween, because it is Halloween night right now as I'm filming this. Let me know what your uh, plans were for Halloween. What have you guys been up to for Halloween? Did you go out trick-or-treating? Did you um, just stay home and watch horror movies? Um, did you spend it with your family, your partner, your friends? Like, let me know your plans. What did you guys do? Uh, me, the original plan was to go trick-or-treating with my stepson and my daughter and my husband and my stepson's mum. Last minute, those plans kind of changed. Everyone still went out trick-or-treating, but I chose to stay home. Uh, you guys, I've really not had a good day today. Um, I've been in a lot of pain lately with my back and, you know, usual um problems that i have uh, it's just not been good lately let's let's say uh this is what i'm using to take my makeup off by the way um and it's just been a struggle like what can i say actually it's probably best if i take uh my ring off there yes i did just take my wedding ring off like <sighs> sorry <laughs> let's just put this tap on get some hot water through Stuff gets caught in the wedding ring and I obviously don't want it to get ruined or to turn all manky or gross or whatever. So yeah, that's like pretty much a normal thing for me. This is when I start looking horrific, you guys, look at this. Um, but yeah, the original plan for me was to go out trick-or-treating, kind of change my mind for last minute. Uh, I've been in a lot of pain with my back. Um, also, fibromyalgia pain, mental health hasn't been too good. And I just thought to myself, you know what? You're just not really up for it, are you? Um, and so everyone else went out and I'm sure they're having an absolutely amazing time. I hope they are. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't my day today, unfortunately. So what I did instead, while everyone was out and I had the house to myself, uh, unexpectedly, <laughs> uh, I sat and I watched Never Hike Alone 2, which recently came out. If you guys aren't aware of what Never Hike Alone is, um, it's basically a Friday the 13th fan film. There's actually a few of them. Uh, there's Never Hike Alone, Never Hike in the Snow, and then literally about three weeks ago, they released Never Hike Alone 2. So I sat and I watched Never Hike Alone 2. It sits at about an hour and 12 minutes long. So it's not like massively long. Um, and I just want to say, you guys, I love them. I love them so, so much. Like considering that they're just like fan made films, they shot really, really well, um, and you gotta give them credit. Like, literally, you guys, I just, I enjoy watching them so much, and the second one was no different. And the great thing is, you guys, is that every single one of those fan-made films, all three of them, are actually available on YouTube to watch for free. How amazing is that? Like, you're talking really well shot, fan films you guys like this isn't just like some amateur work you know this is like really well shot um some love lots of effort and care have been put into it so yeah if you haven't seen them and you're a friday the 13th fan um yeah get yourself watching it <laughs> so i ended up watching that 
and now I've just come upstairs. Um, a parcel was delivered and uh, yeah, I've just come upstairs, getting ready to take my makeup off uh, and to finish finish the, uh, the day here for Halloween 2023. Let me just sort this out. Oh, I kind of feel bad that I missed out on trick-or-treating, but at the same time, you know, when you just know that you're just not, it's not going to be good today. Like, you know, <sighs> but I do feel like I'm letting the kids down, you know. So anyway, now I'm going to move on and I'm going to cleanse my face with this cleansing gel from Beauty Bay. This stuff is great, you guys. Considering like how cheap this is, um, yeah, like cheap doesn't always mean that it's nasty. I'm a big believer in just, you know, skincare and makeup, good skincare and makeup doesn't always have to be hella expensive. Obviously everyone has their preferred brands or companies or whatever, um, but I've gone for the Beauty Bay brand this time. And I can tell you what, it's not disappointed me really. I did makeup and skincare from Beauty Bay and their stuff is really, really good. Um, some of the makeup I wasn't too keen on at the start. However, it has definitely grown on me now that I have uh, been using it for a while. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really impressed. And for the price point as well, you can't really complain, you know? little bit around the eye area still I think. Oh, not too bad. I can't see very well because I'm using like my phone to kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to like, you know, bother my eyes too much. Obviously they're a really sensitive area. Uh, so I'll probably just leave that for now. It is mine and my husband's two year Wedding anniversary, obviously it's not like a massive crazy like, whoa, we've been together 30 years. Uh, it's not that. But you know what? This two years has absolutely flown by. It's our anniversary tomorrow. At the moment, we don't really have any plans. My husband's at work. Um, just sort of the usual, really. Um, and then on Friday, my husband and stepson have a concert um, so that should be fun for them I hope they have a really really fun time but yeah our second wedding anniversary like where have those two years gone it just felt like yesterday that we were like saying our vows to each other and getting married and stuff and it just is like really it's been like two years already and it's so strange because on Facebook I see a lot of people who, you know, on my friends and stuff and like other social medias where they're just getting married. They're just starting their journey. And then I also have uh, people who've been together like 40, 50, 60 odd years. And I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking, wow, like you have such a range of people, you know, and they're all at different points of their lives. And just looking at things like that, it's just like, wow. Everyone's journey goes at a different pace. And I think a lot of the time it's really easy to get kind of wrapped up with um, your life and what you're doing and your circumstances. But sometimes it's really nice to just kind of take a bit of a step back from that and to just sort of think like, wow. I don't know, I just find that really cool. <laughs> but yeah, two years married and we've been together uh, four years, which again isn't all that long, but we have got a lot done in four years. Like any other kind of normal couple, you know, uh, good happens, bad happens. Um, and it's all about like how, how you deal with the good and the bad, you know. It's easy to deal with the good because they're good. But how do you deal with the bad things, you know. I'm expecting everyone to come back soon because it is very, very nearly Ellie's bedtime and she'll want 
a bit of milk before bed, probably. I took Ellie for a walk earlier, okay? Just a little walk. Um, and basically, we came across this clown. There was this one particular house that we passed and it was all dressed up for Halloween. And there was this big, big, massive clown, uh, like in a jack in a box type thing. And it was really, really big. Uh, and me and Ellie like walked past it. And the guy who owned the house was actually outside as we walked past. And he said to us, he was like, oh, watch out because the clown will talk to you um, as you pass by. There must be like some sort of sensor on it. Uh, and so basically I was like, I went around the clown in a bit of a long way. So like the clown's there and I was like, right, okay. We'll kind of move around because I wasn't quite sure how Ellie was going to like respond to this clown at all because this is her first year doing like trick-or-treating and kind of like really taking in Halloween basically and um and so I wasn't sure really how she's gonna react um and the clown started like talking and everything like that and I was like Oh God, what do we do? Um, and I basically had her watch the clown do its thing and speak from like a distance. Uh, and I kind of just like knelt down to her level and I was like smiling, laughing. So, you know, she, she kind of thought to herself like, or she hopefully thought to herself that, you know, this isn't a bad thing. It's all just kind of pretend, you know, it's for Halloween. Uh, however, trying to explain that to a two-year-old is kind of difficult. Uh, and yeah, actually, she took it quite well at first. Uh, she was like laughing and kind of smiling and pointing at it and everything like that. And everything was fine. And as we were walking away, she was like, clown, talking to me, clown, talking. Uh, and I was like trying to explain to her like, oh, it's okay, don't worry. Um, you know, this is just all for Halloween. Um, it's just like a massive, massive clown toy. Uh, and she was like, yeah, yeah, clown toy. And then all of a sudden she was like, pick me up, mama, pick me up, mama. <laughs> so I don't know if she was a little bit like, this was in the daytime, by the way. It was really, really light outside. So it wasn't dark and spooky. Um, but yeah, she wanted me to pick her up for a while. And I was like trying to explain it to her, gave her a bit of a cuddle. Uh, and after a while she was fine. But every now and again, she does keep mentioning the clown to me. So um, I'm not sure really what's kind of going on in her head with it. I'm hoping that she doesn't think too much into it and she saw like my reaction. Because thing is, you guys, I was scared of clowns when I was a kid as well. Um, and I purposely was like, you know, laughing and being all like hearted about it. Because obviously I don't want to push my fears onto her, you know, because I, I don't think that that's like fair, you know. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm not quite sure really how she took it, um, but yeah, I'm hoping that she's going to go out, she's, you know, trick-or-treating, and I'm hoping she's having a really, really great time, um, and I'm hoping that if they've come across that clown again, it's not going to bother her. <laughs> I'm hoping, but, you know, who knows? Who knows with kids? That's the thing. They could be all fine with something one minute. And then next minute, there's like this big hoo-ha about it and it all gets crazy and wild. So I guess we'll have to wait and see uh, about that one. My hair, I straightened this in all sorts today. And because I've had it up like in this hair uh, band, hair bubble, it's just wild again. <laughs> I'm hoping to buy new hair straighteners and a new hair dryer. I've got my eyes on um, a gift set from GHD. Um, I'm hoping to get that ordered and then I can like unbox them on camera and show you guys them. Um, literally the hair dryer I have right now and the straighteners that I have right now, I've had them for over a decade, right? And I'm surprised the hairdryer in particular still works. It's just in here, let me show you. Girl, have you seen that? The wires are unshorn, everything, and it's all like battered and bashed, and there's like a thing, there's meant to be a thing there, like there is, um, oh, doesn't matter, it's gone on both sides. There used to be like a little thing here, but they fell off. <laughs> so yeah, um, 
it's definitely time that I invest in some new straighteners and hair dryer, particularly the hair dryer, because this is abysmal. I believe this is a really old Nikki Clark uh, hair, hair dryer, I think. I can't even remember what hair dryer I've had it. I've had it that long. I'm pretty sure it's Nikki Clark, but pff, don't quote me on that. And this is my hair, um, hair dryer. This is my hair straighteners inside this heat proof um, case here. They're GHDs. And literally, again, I've had these for over a decade, right? And they're actually not doing too bad. They don't look as messed up as the um, hair dryer does. <laughs> But this, this, you guys, can you tell that something's missing from the plug? Yeah, this. It's meant to be there like that. Fell off years ago. I've never got it repaired because I've always been thinking to myself for years, like, oh, you know, I'll just get another one. Um, they do still work. But, <laughs> yeah. It's time I got a new one. I don't think you really want to see me brushing my teeth, so I'm going to finish off this video here now. Uh, what have you guys done for Halloween? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you seen those Friday the 13th fan films? Let me know your thoughts on them in the comment section down below too. Um, thank you so much for watching this really chilled, unscripted video of me just taking off my makeup and putting on my skincare. It's a bit of a different video to what I normally do, so hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching once again, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.